वेलकम टू द फोकस सीरीज आई एम डॉक्टर गोपाल किशन जालवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एनेस्थीशिया डिपार्टमेंट टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंसर्ट द यू एस जी गाइडेड सब क्लियर वेन सीपीलाइजेशन थ्रू द इंफ्राक्लेविकुलर अप्रोच दिस इज ए स्कीमेटिक डायग्राम ऑफ सब क्लेवेन एनाटमी सब क्लेवेन uh vein is a deep vein and that is very commonly used for the cvp line insertion subclavian vein is a uh, continuation of uh, axillary vein and uh, uh, at the level of the sternal loch here subclavian vein uh, meets the igv and forms the right innominate vein or Uh, brachiocephalic vein and then brachiocephalic veins continue with in the superior vena cava and ultimately superior vena cava drains into the right atrium this is a uh, an, uh, another schematic diagram of the subclavian vein here you can see that subclavian vein Uh, passes behind the medial two third of the clavicle to join the internal jugular vein. So uh, at this level, at the level of the medial two third of the clavicle, it is very difficult to get a view of the subclavian vein um, by the USG probe. So first you have to place your probe at the lateral, uh, just below the lateral one third of the clavicle. So here it you can uh, you can uh, get a view of uh, short axis view of the subclavian vein and then proceed further. Patient position to perform the subclavian vein CVP line insertion. Patient should be placed in Tendenberg position and arm should be abducted. scanning technique first you have to place the high frequency linear probe just below the lateral one third of the clavicle and in parasagittal plane and then rotate slightly toward the axilla keeping the vein and artery into the view how you can differentiate between the subclavian vein and subclavian artery into the long axis view that subclavian vein is compressible and subclavian artery is non compressible subclavian vein looks like a road somewhere uh, it will be broad and somewhere it will be narrow but subclavian artery looks like a railway track same width all the way in long axis view and uh, in subclavian vein uh, wall may be visible and there will be no wall in the subclavian artery there is a no pulsation in the subclavian vein and subclavian artery always will be pulsatile so take the puncture through in line technique after getting the longitudinal view of the subclavian vein and as you can see that needle is going to puncture the subclavian vein and uh, there is a pectoralis major and minor also visible over the subclavian vein and uh, once you will puncture the subclavian vein you will get a pop up loss of resistance feeling and then introduce the guide wire through the side port of the needle and and confirm the guide wire first uh, uh, we will confirm into the short axis view okay and uh, just you can see that uh, in the short axis view 
and uh, then you have to rotate the probe rotate the probe to get a view of the guide wire in a long axis view here you can see guide wire is in is in the subclavian vein and uh, now apply a nick over the insertion point of the guide wire and uh, then dilate the skin okay so you have to inside dilator on full length because there is a pectoralis major and minor muscles you have to make a tunnel through the both of the major muscles and now you can see we have placed the cvp line through the subclavian vein thanks for watching this video